Hey, this is Ronnie, and this is The Rescue Ronnie Show. Today, we're here with Jesse Gonzalez of Bender Insurance, and he's gonna give us some tips on how to avoid insurance claims in the winter on your home. So stick around and check it out. All right, we're back. Thank you so much, Jesse. What is going on, my friend? Uh, Jesse's here to just share some knowledge right now on how we can avoid some things during the winter time on how to get uh, to not get insurance claims. So tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Hey, Ronnie, thanks for having me. Jesse Gonzalez with Vendor Insurance Solutions. Uh, we're based out of Roseville, uh, independent agency, one of the largest and uh, longest around in the Sacramento and Placer County area. Nice. So yeah, um, here to spread some uh, value and give you a couple tips on how to avoid claims in the winter. Yeah, Je Jesse's a dad uh, of three girls. So uh, being, being in a home all the time with your kids, uh, you definitely want to make sure that you take care of that home and and put your family in the right space, right? So tell us a little bit about some of the things that people can do on the exterior of their house to maybe avoid some sort of uh, a catastrophe or, or a damage to their home. Definitely. One of the top things they want to do during this time is take a couple, uh, take a weekend and maybe clean your gutters. One of the top things there. That reminds me, I need to do mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to avoid that. That water's got to go somewhere. Sure. The last place you wanted to go is inside your home and having to file a claim and a loss. So yeah. Uh, also trim those trees and uh, those dead branches. That's another thing. Uh, you don't want them uh, damaging the home or injuring somebody if they fall because of rain, uh, wind, or snow. Right. Yeah. Um, and then another thing is to make sure that all your steps and your handrails are secure, repaired. Um, so that nobody's slipping and falling during wet or, or snowy or icy conditions. So. Right. No, and that's fantastic. And then, and the, the tree thing I think is a, a really big deal because we're, we're experiencing some, some wind and we had a couple of things back, back a month ago where it was really, really windy and, and some of those tree branches can really injure a kid or an adult yeah. or whatever, man. Definitely. Um, so what are some of the things we've talked about the exterior, what are some of the things inside that people may not think about, um, that could could uh, change like future um, home insurance claims. Yeah, the couple of things they want to think about inside is um, making sure that their furnace gets cleaned and inspected. Huge. Uh, also making sure that their fireplace gets clean and inspected annually, especially before you start using it heavily during this time, uh, trying to stay warm and things like that. You want to make sure that your systems are running uh, safely and efficiently. Absolutely. Um, another thing you want to make sure of is to if you're gonna be leaving on a winter vacation, uh, making sure that maybe you consider turning off your main water valve uh, so that there's no water into in your pipes in case your pipes get frozen and freeze and burst. The last thing you want is coming home on a nice from a nice vacation uh, but, to a house that is now flooded. So. Uh, yeah, no, and, and it seems like um, with COVID potentially getting better, right, with the vaccine, it seems as if that the the, the family vacation is coming back coming full back. circle. Yep. So um, definitely turn off that water valve. That's something that, that people definitely would not uh, always remember, right? Correct. So uh, check into these tips. If you have any other questions, please reach out to Jesse. Jesse, give some. Um, some information how somebody can get a hold of you if they want to maybe get an evaluation on their personal insurance situation or if they just want to chat with you and, and talk to you yeah definitely love to chat and discuss any insurance needs or uh with anybody uh they can reach me at uh mybendersolutions.com uh online uh my direct line is 916-380-5331 i can be reached directly there um, or via email whatever works easiest for for everybody uh, my email is the letter J, my last name Gonzalez, at mybendersolutions.com. So there you go. From the man himself, please reach out to this guy. He has some great knowledge, and those were fantastic tips. Thank you, Jesse, for coming on. I Thank appreciate you, you man. Yeah. Appreciate and it. as always, have the best day of life, and adios.